let's head north to sunny Finland. Welcome to Finland and the northern town of Ulle. 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 Oh, Thank you. In the summer, this place is a beach resort, but in winter it gets so cold, the sea freezes. You'd have to be mad to be outside on a day like this. But when we heard that somebody here had invented a device that was set to eradicate mobile phone theft forever, and that they were using vodka in their research, oh well, we were here in a shot. Strictly in the name of science, of course. Professor Heike Alisto is an expert in identification, but his latest invention doesn't use traditional biometrics like fingerprints or iris scans. Instead, it measures gait, the way that we walk. Theft of mobile phones is a big problem. For example, in UK, 5% of all thefts are mobile phone related. And that's what Heike is trying to combat by using a new kind of biometrics, measuring the way people walk. The idea is a simple one. Your phone sits in your pocket or bag as normal, but it constantly monitors your movements as you go about your everyday life. It learns how you move. So if someone steals your phone, the phone will know it's not you and will lock up. We grabbed the idea and we started working on a very small, small scale uh, test or experiment to see if it really works. Heike's latest prototype makes use of a tiny motion sensor. Once fitted inside a mobile phone body, it measures movement in three directions. Side to side, that's the yellow line. Up and down, the red line. And forward and back, the green line. And it actually works, as Heidi here will demonstrate. The invention is designed to make a detailed record of every stride, bob and sway of the hips as we make our way around the world. This profile of Heidi's walking style is as individual to her as her voice. Imagine that I'm, I'm a robber, I have stolen Heidi's phone, I have it here, and I, now I'm going to walk with this phone. As soon as he starts walking, the phone detects that Heike's gait is different from Heidi's, and within a few paces, it switches off. The reason that everyone's walk is so individual is down to the large number of factors that shape our movements. For a start, the size and shape of our skeletons, what sex we are, the size and makeup of our muscles, and even psychology comes into play. It seems that happy people really do walk with a spring in their step. Heike's invention is still at the prototype stage, although it's being extensively tested and the results are looking promising. They have found that under extreme conditions, like walking on ice, the phone does tend to think you're a robber. A bit of a drawback, especially if you live here. So the phone now features a pin code that you can input to unlock the phone and reassure it that it really is you. Something else that completely confuses the phone is alcohol. It seems that after a few drinks, we don't just forget ourselves, we forget how to walk like ourselves too. And when you're especially tired and emotional, you might even forget the pin code. Quite a severe design fault, you must admit. Currently, the system knows only one walking style per person, but you could uh, teach the system to learn you your walking style when you are, uh, well, have, when you, you have had a couple of drinks. This is just the beginning for Heike and his team. What started out as an unusual idea has grown into something that they really believe will cut crime. Yeah, we are very excited about this. It's not only mobile phones you, you, we have been talking, but it could be uh, laptops, any gadget you are carrying with you. So, can anything portable be protected by this system? <laughs> Perhaps not.